Good evening and welcome to this celebration of Vespers. As we draw to the close of the day, we uh, offer everything up to the Lord. Remember that Friday, um, being the day of the Lord's passion and crucifixion, uh, we, we can turn to the sacred heart. Traditionally, the sacred heart is often remembered on a Friday, um, a fount of love and mercy. So uh, for the opening hymn of Vespers tonight, um, because it's the same hymn every, if there isn't a special feast, it's the same hymn every week for Friday. So I thought it'd be nice maybe to sing a hymn to the Sacred Heart. And particularly today, uh, as at Mass this morning, we focused um, on praying for forgiveness and healing uh, in light of the um, inquiry into abu abuse in the church. I shall offer up the intercessions and prayers that were at the Mass this morning. And I do apologize, the microphone wasn't working at Mass. So those, I, don't, I think those intercessions uh, didn't come across, uh, but they will be used again tonight. In all our needs, in all our troubles, let us always place our trust in that ever-flowing fountain of love and mercy which is the sacred heart of Jesus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O sacred heart, our home lies deep in thee, on earth thou art an exile's rest, in him the glory of the blessed, O sacred heart. O sacred heart, thou fount of contrite tears, where those living waters flow, New life to sinners they bestow, O Sacred Heart. O Sacred Heart, our trust is all in Thee. For though earth's night be dark and drear, Thou breathest rest where thou art near, O sacred heart. O sacred heart, when shades of death shall fall, 
Receive us neath thy gentle care, and save us from the tempter's snare, O Sacred Heart. O Sacred Heart, lead exiled children home, where we may ever rest with thee in peace and joy eternally, O Sacred Heart. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil, will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend, if my foes do not shout in triumph over me. If you uphold me, I shall be unharmed, and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to edify him. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. The word of the Lord. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. He made us a line of kings, priests to serve God. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. The Lord has come to help us, his servants. He has remembered his mercy. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has come to help us, his servants. He has remembered his mercy. God is our loving Father, who cares for us and knows all our needs. With confidence we pray, Father, may we find rest in your love. Christ, your Son, suffered and died for the church. Be with all Christians who are suffering tonight. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring to the sick your comfort and healing. Strengthen them through the victory of Calvary. Father, may we find rest in your love. Be near to us, almighty Father for you alone can save us from the evils that threaten us. Father, may we find rest in your love. Strengthen us in the hour of death. Let us know your peace. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring the dead into your light. Comfort them with your presence. Father, may we find rest in your love. for the survivors of abuse, that they may find effective support and true healing for the sufferings they have experienced. On behalf of the whole church, 
in reparation for sins against the vulnerable and young, especially those perpetrated by clergy and others in a position of trust. The Safeguarding Commission of our Diocese, in thanksgiving for their dedication and commitment to all in our community who are vulnerable. For the safeguarding representatives in our parishes, in thanksgiving for their work to support our parish communities in the continued building of a culture of safeguarding. For the bishops of England and Wales, that lessons learnt as a result of the inquiry will bear fruit and that they may grow in their openness and listening to those who are survivors. For the whole church, that our communities will always be places of safety in which all will truly experience the love and power of the gospel message. May we be ever grateful that your Holy Spirit continues to raise prophetic voices from people of goodwill, of any faith or none, and that we, your church, may continue to listen to these voices and seek help from them as we strive to achieve the values of your kingdom. Pray now our own personal intentions. We give thanks that Colette's father has been allowed to spend his last days at home. We keep him and the family in our prayers. For peace in the USA in this time of transition. Helen prays for the future of her two sons, Joseph and John. We pray for Gerald, who is in hospital, and for Thomas, who needs the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We pray for Stephen Cox, who is currently shielding due to health problems. Continue to pray for all those who are sick, those known to us and those in our community. Remembering especially Barbara White, Christine, Margaret Dunstan, Kevin, Baby Liam, Baby Pippa, Theo Reimart, Margaret, Rowena Bennett, Daisy Gloria, and Anita de Sar. We pray for all those who have died recently or whose anniversaries occur at this time. Today's anniversaries, we pray for Andy Murphy, Philip and Mary Ryan, and Faraj Zukor, whose anniversaries are today. We pray for the soul of Maureen Burgess, who died this week. We continue to pray for those recently deceased, Steph, Terence Nagel, Jan Yakolejnik, Nesta Salat, Rosina Pearson, as well as all those whose names are written in the November Book of Remembrance. We remember the two priests whose anniversaries occur today, Monsignor Clement Constable and Canon Dennis Corbishley. We commend these and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God, that they may rest in peace. We ask the Lord to comfort all who grieve, especially family members and friends. May they draw consolation from the Immaculate Heart of Mary, 
which was pierced with sorrow at the death of her son. And may we look forward in hope to his second coming, when he will wipe away every tear from our eyes and bring us safely into our heavenly homeland. Finally, we offer up to the Lord all of our personal intentions, those private intentions that are on our hearts at this very moment. Loving and merciful Father, we offer these prayers and petitions up to you. We ask that you may pour forth your mercy and your grace into our lives and to the lives of those for whom we pray. And we dedicate them all to the most sacred heart of Jesus on this Friday, the day of your passion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, teach us the lessons of your Son's passion, and so enable us, your people, to bear the yoke he makes light for us. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We finish our time of evening prayer now with the decade of the Holy Rosary. We remember uh, the fifth mystery, Jesus dies on the cross. Although it is a tragic moment, it's also a moment of great joy because, or a moment of great grace because that is the moment where the sacred heart was pierced. Um, That is the moment where the blood and water representing the Eucharist and baptism flowed out for our salvation. We give thanks to God for that. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. Ad te clamamus, exules filii eve, ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Iesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 